Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to draw a histogram. And the important thing about histograms is that we use them to display group data with unequal class widths. So we've done his, uh, frequency diagrams before. Uh, a histogram is a type of frequency diagram, but instead of having frequency on the y-axis, we use something called frequency density. And the frequency density is calculated by dividing the frequency by each class width. And this is something that you definitely need to know for your exam. Right, so let's take a look at an example. Here we have the uh, waiting times uh, at a phone center for people who call up. So uh, we can see that 38 people had to wait between 0 and 2 minutes to get their call answered. 32 people were between 2 and 3 minutes, etc., etc. And the key thing to note is that the class widths are all are different sizes. They're not always equal sizes like we've seen before. So we added in these two extra columns, uh, a class width and a frequency density column. So we're going to work out the class width for each one. Uh, the class width for this uh, interval is 2. So we do 2 take away 0, which is 2. Uh, 3 take away 2 tells me this class width is 1. This is 0 0.5. Uh, this is 1.5. And this one is 5. And the frequency density is calculated by doing the frequency divided by the class width. So frequency divided by class width gives me 19. Uh, 19. Uh, 32. Uh, 30 divided by 0 0.5 is 60. And 45 divided by 1.5 is 30. 55 divided by 5 is 11. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our a histogram using the frequency density and the times. So I'll just get this tool out. Right, um, so between 0 and 2 minutes had a frequency density of 19. So I'm going to come along and draw a box up as far as 19 between 0 and 2. Um, next one is between 2 and 3 and has a frequency density of 32, which is right here. Uh, then between 3 and 3.5 is 60. Um, between 3.5 and 5 we have 30. sorry 3.5 and 5 we have 30 which is right here and between 5 and 10 we have a frequency density of 11 a frequency density of 11 which is mm, that's a little bit too high let's just try that one again between 5 and 10 we have a frequency density of 11 okay so there it is again, coloured in, just so you can confirm the answer. Um, and that's how we draw a histogram. So now time for you to have a go. So if you pause the video and you and you print it off the notes, you can have a go at drawing this histogram, which is the wages of staff in a factory. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Um, here's the solution. That's how we draw histograms. In the next video, I'm going to look at how we can use a histogram and uh, make some interpretations and calculations like the median and other various questions. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, best of luck with the revision. I'll talk to you again sometime.